Hey guys, I'm back. Um, in this video, I'll show you two ways on how to change textures on meshes. Uh, the first one is going to be done through Creation Kit, and the second one I'll show you in NivScope. So, what you want in Creation Kit is creating a new item and changing its texture set. Go to Miscellaneous, Texture Set. Now I'll be adding an ebony texture, so I want something that resembles metal. For example, Nordic bronze pots. I'm going to double click this and open it so I can see what it needs. And I'm going to write over this one. Ellie Ebony. I've created some new textures here from a resource I will link in the de description. We need a normal map. And I don't want Quicksilver, I want Ebony. So I found the, the file path I'm going to use here. And again, because it's in the BSA, I can just link it through here. I don't have to browse to it. Edit this, add this, and it should, yes, there we go. It pulled the ebony cube map, environment map from the BSA. You don't have to fiddle with any of the de decal data or anything, just that works. Yes, I want to create a new form. Now we need something to, to use the texture on. Let's go for a pot. The static one. I like statics. And this one. Now we don't want to change the vanilla one. We just want to make a new one based on this. Give it a new name. Ellie Ebony Pot. And you don't want to do what I just did. If you do that, just pack back out of it and do it again. Edit. But this is where you stop. Don't go here, I just go here by muscle memory. You want to use the glazed pottery, but you want to change the texture here in this box. As it says new texture, double click that. Now you can find your new new pot thing. There we go, ebony. Double click. And we have an ebony pot. It looks quite terrible, but for a demonstration purposes, it's perfect. Yes, create a new form. Now we have an ebony pot, and it looks pretty cool because I added the ebony cube map, so we have all the glossy effects and everything. Uh, now let's do the same in Nivscope. I have this little bottle here from a resource, and I want to change it to copper. You double click, uh, you single click the part you want to change, so it highlights the nitrite shape, collapse this and go all the way down to PS shader texture set. As you can see, it has uh, four different kinds of textures because it has all that glossiness and like glass shine. Some, most objects only have two, the diffuse and the normal map. Let's change all of them. Go to my shiny new textures that I made. Copper diffuse. Whoa, trippy. Normal map. There we go. Uh, for this, we could use the one I used before. Does it still? No, it's not in clipboard anymore. Come back and forth. <laughs> Copy this here. There we go. Should be pulling it from the BSA. Put it there for good measure. Save as to. Okay, so you have to have like proper textures for it to work, else it'll look like shit. But it's changed now. That's the important thing. Now you can just do your drag and drop tip. Go away. Oh, I still had it there. Static. Drag it. Remove filter. It should show up. Brandy bottle to put it here. Yes, you are very shiny. If you want to make it matte, you can just uh, take it, the environment map off and put default. Change some of the shader flags, like take off environment mapping. That should do it. And now you go to the... that's That was under BS Lighting Shader property. Now go to Shader Texture Set take these things off, save it, refresh it,
and it should work. Sometimes it doesn't refresh the textures immediately. You, you may have to actually restart the kit for some of the changes to appear. If you still want it all the way matte, you can go remove the glossiness. 7,720 is way overkill. You can go like 50 and it still look the same. But you tinker with it. Go off, go trial and error. I'm going to put it to 3. And now the specular strength is way, way too high. Yeah, that works. Specular strength is what controls, what controls the glossiness the most. So if you remove that, you can also put... You can see there's like this white layer on it. If you put it to black, it will go completely. So now you have this flat, crappy looking brandy bottle. And save it. Now that we should be seeing some changes. There we go. Completely matte. Well, that's it for, for this theme. Uh, in my next video, I'll probably show you something about Neve Scope again, maybe. Let me know in the comments if there's something you'd really like to know and I can make videos of then. See you next time.